All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Baseball Podcast. And for the second segment of today's show, we are going to go through the American League playoff picture and talk about the scores pertaining to that, and we'll go through the uh, the current standings uh, heading into this weekend. So obviously, uh, I briefly mentioned some of the scores um, in the last segment. So the Yankees defeated the Blue Jays 5-3. to three. Garrett Cole obviously pitching eight innings, a great start for him, and like I said, most likely cemented his uh, Cy Young uh, candidacy and uh, being the f- getting the Cy Young, basically. I don't know why I worded it like that, but that's what happens with me sometimes. Um, so they picked up the win. The Rays, 5-4 to four over the Angels. Kittredge picked up the win. Estevez picked up the loss. So we'll go through the, uh, the scoring summary with that. Uh, Isak Paredes started off the game with an RBI double. Uh, David Fletcher had a two-run single in the top of the fourth. Jonathan Aranda, he grounded out. That scored a run. Joe Adele homered 4-2 to two Angels. So the Angels were up in this game, you know, in the top of the sixth. Uh, Margot had an RBI double in the bottom of the sixth. Paredes had a game-tying single in the bottom of the ninth. And Margot had an RBI single that won the game. So the Rays won in walk-off fashion. Um, but, yeah, that's that would have been a uh, crushing loss for the Rays especially because the Orioles lost yesterday, and now that closed the gap for the AL East. So the Orioles ended up losing yesterday 5-2 to two to the Guardians. Jose Ramirez in the bottom of the fifth. So there was no scoring through almost five innings. Uh, the Guardians picked up two runs in the bottom of the fifth. Jose Ramirez had an RBI single. Josh Naylor had a sack fly, so that made it 2 nothing. Santander had a ground out that scored a run. Ryan O'Hearn doubled. That tied the game. Uh, Ramon Laureano. Oh, I didn't. I didn't realize that the uh, that he was picked up because I know I'm pretty sure the the A's uh, released him. And you know, you figure maybe he goes to uh, a contender, even though uh, I guess no contenders really wanted him. I like what kind of. Let's look at the season he was having because he was like one of the last players on the A's that um, that you know didn't get uh, get traded or anything. Yeah, so let's uh, let's see. So he played in 64 games with the A's this year. Six home runs, 21 RBIs, 213 batting average. Yeah, I mean, the stats aren't really that good. Uh, with the Guardians, they've been better. Uh, three home runs, 14 RBIs, and this is in 34 games. Yeah, so, you know, from 213 to 254, 280 on base to 346. Uh, 364 slugging to 407 slugging. 644 OPS to 753. So, again, the numbers are still not great, but, I mean, they're better with the Guardians than they were with the A's. But, but yeah, he was, like, one of the last uh, one of the last guys that the A's um, moved off of, you know, as they're trying to go into this rebuild. <laughs> it's just, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, not, it's not fun to be an A's fan right now, uh, to put it nicely. But, yeah, so... Um, he, uh, he had an RBI in this game, uh, had a walk that scored a run. Then Josh Naylor's brother, uh, Bo Naylor, he singled, make it four, two. Then Gabriel Arias, he grounded out that scored a run. So that led to five to two. And that was the final score of the game. So yeah, the Orioles dropped to 95 and 58 on the season and the Rays, uh, they're at 94 and 60. So like I said, they closed the gap. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it with the American League scores. Um, so, uh, yeah, so a lot of teams had off. But, um, or some teams had off, I believe. So, uh, but, yeah, that's it from the uh, the American League front. So now we go to the current standings at the moment. So the Orioles right now, magic number is eight. Uh, they are a game and a half up on the Rays for the American League East. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be, um, it's like I, like I've been saying, it's going to be close to the end. It really is. Um, the Rays, they got a tough, uh, tough matchup this weekend with the Blue Jays. So it's really important that, you know, they got to go out and win those games. Um, and we'll go through that in, uh, in the final segment, previewing the, the series for this weekend. Um, the Orioles... 
uh, th- what they got coming up on their schedule is Cleveland. Well, they're continuing their series with Cleveland. Uh, for, it's a four-game set. Um, so they got to get back on the right track. They can't afford to lose these games. So, uh, I mean, obviously, they're in the playoffs. I mean, now it's just all about where, like, what their seeding is going to be end up being. So, um, but, yeah, it's it's very close. The Twins... Magic number is still at one, so you figure by the end, of, by by tonight, it'll be over. But we'll just have to wait and see. I mean, I don't, I don't see the Twins losing every single game, and the Guardians winning every single game. I mean, that that would be some crazy, but it's it, that, that's not gonna happen. So, uh, so once uh, I come back on Monday, the Twins will have clinched the Central. So. Uh, and then we got, you know, a lot of stuff going on with the AL West. So no, I don't even think, yeah, no, I don't, did any of those teams play yesterday? No, I don't think any of those teams, no, they didn't. They, but they play, uh, they play today, obviously, and into this weekend. Astros got the Royals and the Rangers got the Mariners. So we will, uh, we'll get into that, like I said, in the final segment. Um, but yeah, Astros, that's a series that's huge for them. You know, I, I know the Royals, they gave them some problems, like, you know, when they last played them, which was like last week. But Astros really got to, you know, take this series, you know, get the sweep and get themselves closer to clinching this division. Because you got the Rangers and the Mariners are going to be beating each other up this weekend. So take advantage of that and win your games and uh, close the gap in, uh, um, you know, clinching the division. So, so yeah, that's uh, that's coming up this weekend, obviously. So that's really what, nothing happened in the AL West. Everything's the same right now, just because none of the teams played yesterday. So, and you got the Braves. Obviously, they clinched. Brewers right now. Oh wait, I'm going now. I'm going through. Oh, I'm jumping the jumping the gun here. We got to stay in the American League. Uh, so now we go to the wild card. So right now, still the Rays at the top. I apologize for that. <laughs> uh, so uh, Rays at the top, ninety four and sixty. Blue Jays are at eighty five and sixty eight. They're a half game up on the Rangers and the Mariners, and both the Rangers and the Mariners are at eighty four and sixty eight. So that's uh, right now. That's where it currently stands. And uh, yeah, we got an important series coming up this weekend, and that. Uh, Things are gonna. Things will definitely be somewhat different when we get into Monday's show. But um, right now, you know, we just gotta see. We gotta see how it goes. And it's a, it's an important series for the Rangers and the Mariners. That's the you know the series of the weekend. Really, it's it's those two teams. Um, because you know, right now, and then the Mariners play the Astros after that. But yeah, these teams are tied for the third wild card right now, and you got the Blue Jays ahead of them. Blue Jays took a tough loss last night to the Yankees, but yeah, I don't. I listen. It could it could end up being the Rangers on the outside looking in, and I end up being right after all. But it's just it, it's again, it's just crazy how everything it, it's constantly changing. It's always there's always something different, and um, yeah, I, I listen. Got to pay close close attention to that series, um, you know. And, uh, you know, the Astros, they got to take care of business on their end because if they're not careful, they could find themselves in the wild card instead of the division. Right now, it's anybody's game. And these teams are all going to be playing each other, Um, you know. And, you know, the Rangers have had some bad stretches. The Astros have had some bad stretches. They all have, the Mariners as well. So that's why I keep saying it's all about who's going to be hot at the right time. And that's going to be that's going to determine who is going to end up making the playoffs. I mean, I still would probably say right now the Rangers are going to be the team that's on the outside looking in. Um, you know, the Blue Jays right now are right now ahead of those two teams in the AL West, and I still lean towards the Astros taking the division. But we'll have to we'll, we're just going to have to wait, and it's all going to be it's all going to be figured out pretty much by the end of next week and 
might come down to the last game of the regular season on October 1st. So, but uh, we are, we're getting very close. We are getting very close. And this month has flown by. And, you know, I have I started two weeks ago with this. And that was basically the beginning of the month. And now we're getting towards the end. We are getting towards the end. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Playoffs are going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun to cover. And, uh, you know, see what ends up being the matchup for for it all um you know it's, it's it is gonna be uh it's gonna get crazy and uh and i can't and i can't wait for that but um you know let me know what you guys think what's uh what's your favorite uh series coming up you know what uh what teams you got making it what teams you don't got making it that are going to be on the outside looking in because because there's going to be a team that's not going to make it with all the playoff spots, there is going to be a team that is is going to be on the outside looking in. And especially now with the playoffs and all these wild card spots, you know, you don't want to be that team. I mean, look at me. The team that I root for. That's they're going to be on the outside looking in. So um but yeah, that's pretty much uh that's pretty much it with the uh the American League playoff picture. You know, uh, some of the teams had off. Like I said, the AL West teams had off, so they'll be back tonight. It's kind of funny. All, all three of them. That's why I was like, well, I'm missing something. That's why I started going towards the the National League. But I, that's because I'm so used to doing it all in one segment. But I'm trying to spread it out so I can give, you know, each league, uh, you know, their, uh, their spotlight, you know. Because, um, you know, there's only so much you can uh, – cover in a 15 minute segment you know so um and there's only so much you can cover in an hour show i mean i used to do uh, back at school i used to do a two-hour sports radio show and that went super fast so obviously doing an hour is uh you know it goes even faster um but yeah so but um yeah so that, that obviously uh we got the national league playoff picture coming up then we are going to you know we're going to preview the games for this weekend and then that'll basically be it and then uh, shortly after that i will record the patreon and if you subscribe to that you'll be able to check that out when that is uh when that is up and running and then that'll be it for me this weekend and then there'll be a couple of uh a couple of shorts coming out um you know basically Normally what I would do, normally what I do is I, I just say, hey, the show's up, go check it out, and then, you know, the, the other one will be about, like, one of the topics on the show, so, um, but yeah, and then also a lot of the shows, uh, I'm trying to get uh, yesterday's show up, uh, the Broken Down segment, so that will be up as well, I'm working on that, you could also find that on Spotify, just look up GSMC uh, Baseball Podcast on Spotify and the episodes that I've done so far there, they will be they will be up there so you can check that out so um because you know obviously uh you know with people working and stuff you know you might miss the stream which is fine but there's other ways to uh to take in the content you know especially you know when i repost the show in the in this you know splitting up the segments and uh and spotify those are great ways to uh you know take in the content so um yeah but uh with that we are going to take our second break of the show. And then when we come back, we are going to talk about the National League playoff picture, go over the scores with that, what the standings are currently. And uh, yeah, that will be the third segment for the show today. So stick around and we will be right back here on the GSMC Baseball Podcast. <laughs> 